And this is part of the reason why I'm doing it. Because America, I'm, I'm doing the whole so-called, my own campaign against the whole situation that we're dealing with Trump. Because we as people, we suffer so much discrimination, so much persecution. And we're coming to this country and we, and, we, and we finally thought that we have the promised land. And I thought for myself that this would never happen in America. In my time, I don't recall anybody that went in su on such agenda of racism and hate. And it really brought memories from the Nazi time because I did study history. I did do my homework as a kid and as an adult. I saw your Facebook. And it's a genie that came out of the box. And, and a genie that came out of the bottle. This genie is going to hit us sooner or later. So they say he loves Israel, but how about 20 years later when we have a recession? And they're going to say, okay, the Jew took my house, so let's go after the Jews. And now we're going to have the Spanish against us, and the black man, you know, black us, and the white against us. What are we going to do then? So that's why you've put up this offer for his tax returns? Do you think well, that will help? I, I, you know, I believe you know, that we need to peel this guy like onion because from day one I said this guy is cuckoo. I totally believe that this guy is not normal and is not really sane. He's very dangerous. Well, let me, uh, just, I don't mean to interrupt, but because you build in the Northeast in New York, did you know him at all? Did you have any contact with him prior to the election? Well, we, I am running within the same circles in New York because I've been in New York for many years and, uh, and I've seen him a couple of times and, uh, you know, I've been hearing, I've been reading about him in the paper and, uh, you know, all the stuff, all the, you know, what he was doing. But was any of this here before he decided to run for president? I and didn't care, you know, because he's not harming me and in and, and his small and local basis, if the banks want to give him money, this is his problem, you know, you know, this is the bank problem. And I know that he is uh, not liked by the banks, he doesn't like by vendors, he doesn't like by people. And, uh, but I didn't care, you know, I, I, I don't have any personal agenda against the guy. But when he started running to election and you see the guy, when he started the first thing talking about Mexicans and how we portrayed it and then he jumped onto the gun of the Muslims, this really was a big alarm for me. And I said, this guy is not really normal. He's not because he changes his mind every two minutes, every five minutes, every day. And he said what he said when he said how he said, and this is not a symptom of a normal person. A person that, with, you know, this guy really, I call it, he put in America in chapter 11 morally, in moral chapter 11. So the big news item that everyone picks up is the fact that you've offered now $2 million for him to release his tax returns. And that's kind of a big headline everybody's grabbing onto. Yes. Is that something that you did for the headlines? No, okay, unfortunately, money taking people attention okay and i will follow through if you know it's a charity and i just uh, you know about to contribute 10 million dollar with an agreement 10 million dollar to fiu i'm contributing for them uh, so i'm not gonna lose the money it's money that's going to stay in you know so it's going to go to a charity but what really annoys me with many 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 people you know and this guy need to be peeled like onion you know you have to peel him and the biggest and the biggest peel was his success in business. M he's not successful in business. Me running around within the banking industry and the legal industry and knowing the history of the guy. The guy is a failing businessman. The guy is net worth maybe between two to three hundred million dollars that I heard by different sources. No banks want to give him money. What sources? Bank banks. Your bank sources bank sources that have I told you that yes, he, his net worth they is have far access. less. They do not want to loan him any money. I know only about two banks who loaned him money from New York. And you know, one of them in a high, that I work with them only when I'm really desperate for, for a deal and I have to pay high interest, eight to 10% on it, you know, just temporary when I take it. And they are the one that they stated they work with him. And there's another bank that uh, work with him is a foreign bank, but there is no banks in America because the idea is why would I give a guy money when I know he's gonna try to screw me the first moment that he has? So the idea is we cannot grow without borrowing money. So the guy has no relationship in the bank industry. For all I'm concerned, he's taking the money from the outside. He wants to hide these issues. We do not know. This guy did not go through FBI clearance. He did not go through, and this is, ridic this is the most horrendous thing. I think it's the most ridiculous thing that we have a, a person running for presidency and we don't have a background check on him. 
where is money coming, who is borrowed to, how much are we mortgaged to, I mean, to the people that he borrowed to. There is no security clearance. How could it be? I, so are you afraid, you know, you're a major donor to the Clinton campaign. Are you afraid that someone, your counterpart on the other side, is going to offer $2 million for Hillary Clinton to reveal her missing emails? Because okay. that's been a big issue on her you side. You see, the whole issue I don't think is about Hillary Clinton here. No, 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 but answer that question. I, I, I will get to it. to a lot of people it is. You know, I will get to it. If uh, after two or three, I mean, you know, the whole issue is really here that the whole what we're doing is about Trump and the direction of America. Hillary Clinton is not taking America in the direction of racism of hate, of, of, the, of divisiveness, of craziness and madness. Hillary Clinton proved herself for the last 40 years as, as a person who worked within the government in the administration. So she lied. Big whippy deal, she lied on, your, on the email or she did this or she did that. But we're dealing here with a, with a guy that the country is going to give him the suitcase for the biggest arsenal for the nuclear that exists in the world. We are not some country, without insulting Africa, sitting at the end of the tip of some African country that has no impact on the world. He is going to get the suitcase that can coin effect to the whole world. The guy said the most bizarre thing that anybody can, can say. The guy, he has a pattern of saying stuff and then, and then he's cleaning people, I call them, the garbage people, you know, cleaning behind him, you know. Have you ever been involved in politics before? I never did. I am very aware politically what's happening. I never got involved. For all I'm concerned, I would have considered also, you know, for me, a party is not a football team. So you feel so strongly about Trump that this is your first foray into the political process? No, I, I hope that this is the last time I'm getting involved politically. Uh, it's not something that I really want because I got a lot of things to do here. Everybody has to do his share in the small, in the small, uh, in, 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 in the picture that we are doing, you know.